Once again, we're going to welcome you to Lesson 2 in our series on Ascending into the Unknown. Today we're going to talk uh, about how to position your life to... Today we're going to talk about how to position your life so that you can achieve some of the goals. If you remember the last time we had a conversation, uh, we talked about the... Um, we talked about where we were in the physical plane, and we call this the physical plane, P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L. But we're going to call this whole thing the physical plane today. And um, we just put P and then P here. So this is, today, this is the world, P-A. R T H, and we still we we got a horizontal plane, and we got a vertical plane. We'll put the vertical plane up here, vertical plane. And um, the reason we're going to go with this being the whole, with being the whole, is because we want to uh, let you know, and we're going to break our person down. This is our person, and we're going to give him some some legs, small legs, and some arms. Let's give him a smiley face too. Smiley face. Here. Here. And um, this is the person. And we've already said that we have a mind, body, and then uh, we're going to call it soul. We'll put the soul up here. Now, if, if we were going to do a time management example, uh, we would probably try to get what is called a balance. A balance of these things. And uh, this balance of our mind, body, and soul should lead to what I call stability. It's a T A. B I L I T I stability or balance either one stability or balance and the way to get that stability or balance is we have to do a time management series to see exactly where we are with um, our life and how we're using our time so let's look at this horizontal plane as time let's call this time this is a series of time and we want to put and we're going to say that this time is running. It's running like this. And what we want to track with is how we're using that time. So we can uh, take a look at a series of things that we do every day. You know, we got to eat. We got to sleep. We got to um, groom ourselves. Dress and groom, shower. We got to, uh, we probably have to do some kind of work, whatever that is that we want to do. We have some leisure time. Uh, we're going to put reading and all those things in there. And then uh, we may want to have some family time. And we want to have some spiritual time. Now, we know that to eat, Sleep uh, is related to the body and the health of the body. Eating and sleeping without food and without rest, we certainly wouldn't have a strong body. If we eat the wrong kinds of food, we certainly wouldn't have a healthy body. So there's a connection here. Now, uh, you know, dressing and showering, that's an appearance. That has to do it. Our self-esteem, self-worth, opinion of ourselves. People go for days without showering. They certainly uh, don't have to wear the kind of clothes that dress up, but we think that's important. And then there needs to be some leisure time. And I think leisure time again relates to the mind. And I have family time. Family time gives the mind some stability as well. Uh, and then um, family time, and then uh, Um, 
I call this um, uh, uh, we'll come back to that time but the bottom line is all these things happen in, in what I call time sequences and the time sequences I generally measure uh, in terms of we may eat and sleep about two hours dress about an hour most of us works about eight hours uh, and then it's sleep most of us uh, uh, on spirituality um, this sleep we sleep about eight hours let's say that's a balance and then we're gonna come back to the leisure time let's say we do one let's say we spend an hour with our family so and this is on a one this is a 24 hour sequence 24 hours okay so this is one day one day so now what, ha what happens is eight hours and then one hour, one hour. But here's where I think most of us fall down because if we take eight and eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, this would leave about three hours for any kind of spiritual growth and development. So we're going to spend three hours working on our soul. Uh, we're going to spend uh, roughly on our body, sleep, eating, it's 10 hours, uh, 10 hours here. And then that leaves us with 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's see if that's going to be, let's make sure, uh, 10 and 13. So, yeah, 11 hours. So that leaves us about 11 hours up here. So when you take a look at this picture, you can see where you spend a lot of time on your mind and your body and a little time on the, the soul or the spiritual side. Now, here's the problem. The problem is, is that we're born. Um, let's see. Let's bring this back. We're born. Um, we're born here. Let's see. Yeah. We're born, and then at some point we're going to die. And whether we want to or not, or whether we like it or not. This is a finite period of time. It might be broken down in increments of days, but this is is, is very important that we come to know uh, how we're gonna spend our days, and those days adds up to weeks, and weeks add up to months, and months add up to years. And we know women live roughly between 75 and 80 years, and men live between 65 and 70 years. That's provided, that's the normal, that's the normal. Now, obviously, everybody wants to be an exception to that, but that puts you in a short window to be able to accomplish some of the things. And so, Sooner or later, you're going to be looking for this piece right here, the soul, because you don't want to die and let that be over. You certainly don't have anything to do about your birth right now. So this becomes very, very important. And for the most part, we spend a little time on this. And, I'm, I, and I submit to you that on Earth, the more time we spend on this, uh, I think that we can increase our quality of life, Q U A L I T of life, and we can increase our well-being primarily because we are more content when we have the idea that when we don't have when we don't have fear of death. And that's a critical component of everyday life. So as we are mapping out our, you know, our vision, uh, our mission in life, what we want, our goals, our objectives, tasks, uh, timelines, and the, the cost of living, we're going to go back to looking at these things in our next lesson. Our vision, mission, our goals, objectives, tasks, timelines, and the cost of living. 
we want to factor in all of these factors. And the most important thing we want to factor in is this notion that sooner or later we're going to be faced with the, the big D. D day. And at that, but, and we want to, we've got a lot of time in between. And how we spend that time is what's going to make our life more. I know it will make will make life more interesting, but it also will make it more productive. We'll talk again about that on our next lesson.